What is going on guys and welcome to this third African Cup of Nations Man of the Match play review. I'm obviously doing this time Javier Balboa. Now just for shits and giggles in this league you can actually put in striker position. Adrian from Porto. You know get the old Rocky Balboa Adrian thing going. Yeah it's not that funny but I thought I'd get that out of the way. But other than that guys let's look at the base stats on this card. He's got 85 pace, 73 dribbling, 74 shot, 40 defending, 66 passing and 70 physical. Freestyle weak foot, freestyle skill move with medium low work rates. Now if you look at this guy's in game stats they aren't the best. He's got 91 sprint speed, but then only 78 acceleration, 80 shot power and 74 finishing. Now, if you guys haven't seen the free kick that he scored for Equatorial Guinea, I really would recommend looking at it, although it wasn't a free kick, and I think the game was rigged, to be honest, too nizzy. He had every right to be pissed off. It was amazing, and he's still only got like 42 free kicks in 69 curve. What the fuck? Honestly, look at it and then tell me that he has, should not at least have 75 free kicks. But anyway, he did use to play for Real Madrid, so he's obviously got some talent about him. But let's talk about this card then, you know. 91 sprint speed. Now, obviously, he's got slow acceleration, but he's a very direct and powerful player. Basically, all I did with this card when I got him was inside my own half, and I just charged at defenders and basically knocked the ball past them. Once he gets going for about five seconds, he's very hard to catch. Obviously, with 91 sprint speed, he is a quick player. It's just he takes time to accelerate away. But, you know, once he got going, he was a quite an hard player to stop. And he was a bit stronger than he looked, to be honest, as well. Now, obviously, his finishing is only 74, but his finishing is also very, very good. Once he got away, and here, this is a good uh, clip, actually, to go on what I'm saying. He could get away from people quite quick, cut inside, and he was a good finisher near post-OP, or finesse shots inside the box. He normally scored them. Now, what I feel to just mention there, while I was saying about his sprint speed and being direct, is that his dribbling is actually really good. I think he has got the speed to dribble a trait on his normal card, so it will be on this card. And, you know, he can keep the ball at his feet and push players off him. He isn't the strongest card. He, isn't the, he hasn't got the best agility or balance, but he's a very direct player. And out of the three man of the match cards I've played with today... To be honest, we had the most fun with this guy. As well, once you got him going on his uh, right foot with his sprint speed, he was very, very hard to stop. However, you know, on to the lesser things about this card and what I didn't like. His long shots were very poor. I um, ain't got any clips in this, actually, because they were basically very, very bad, and I didn't really want to ruin any other clips. His curve's awful. That's a bit of EA being shit, to be honest, because his curve should be a lot better. But finesse long shots outside the backs are also a no-go. His crossing's very poor. Now, obviously, he's a left mid card to start off with. But I would advise playing him at left forward, as I say all the time, wingers are wasted on this game. Try him at left forward and cut in with him. His crossing is very bad, he's only got three star weak foot and you can tell that that makes his crossing even worse considering he's playing on the opposite side and he's on his weaker foot side. And his passing's also poor. Through balls, they weren't so bad. Long balls over top are a definite no-go. But yeah, guys, basically to go over what I've just said there, pros and cons, obviously his sprint speed is a direct player, he's a powerful player. Just run at people and knock the ball past them. If you can get running for about three or four seconds with this guy, his sprint speed will take you away from other players. You know, his dribbling is very good as well, to be honest with you, and his finishing is also great considering he's only got 74 finishing, but don't be put off by that guy as this guy can finish. Con's acceleration, obviously, it takes a while to get going. His curve isn't the best, you know, it's basically you shoot with a finesse shot from outside the box and it goes straight to the keeper. His long shots aren't great, he's got 80 shot power, but his long shot stats poor, so basically, just, again, he just shoots straight at the keeper. His passing isn't very good and his crossing is also very poor. But yeah, guys, other than that, Sorry, I should mention his price is also a con. He's 400,000 at the moment. He ain't worth anywhere near that, guys. I'd say he's more worth around the 70k mark at best, you know. But yeah, guys, that is it. That is the third Man of the Match review today. I will leave the links in the description below for the other two Man of the Match cards, Bonnie and Atsu. I probably won't be doing the Defender Sainsbury because, let's be fair, he looks shit. And he's a defender. So there you go, guys. Another review out the way. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I will hopefully be reviewing Team of the Week players tomorrow. Let's hope Kevin De Bruyne gets one because I'm really looking forward to playing with him. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. Have a very, very nice day.